Metal monthly, metal monthly, metal monthly, new metal, metal monthly, metal monthly, metal monthly, no new metal. Howdy banger fans, Blaine Smith welcoming you to another Metal Monthly Bangers look at what's coming out that month in metal. Of course it's December, so happy uh, non-denominational pagan hippie whatever nonsense. Whatever you're doing, uh, have fun with it, be good. And hey, November went less uh, American Civil war than we all thought, so I'm once again above ground in my upstairs living room. Look at that, isn't that nice? Of course, I'm still locked in the house because we are currently in our second wave of black metal, second wave of uh, Corona virus. Hey, uh, as always, if you like what we do here, it's been a year, you know, you could give us a little Christmas present by liking and subscribing. Uh, and uh, you know, you could, you could donate uh, on the Patreon campaign, sign up, we'll give you some stuff, you give us some stuff, you know, it's a nice, little exchange. Well, so if you like me, you can put metal comedy in pretty much any search bar and something will come up. Uh, and you can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash metal comedy. Cyberpunk comes out December 10th. It's coming out. Uh, and you can uh, watch me play uh, and we'll have some fun. It'll be a special stream. But uh, housekeeping, check. Uh, now let's get on to, uh, you know, we run down a list of some of the bigger albums coming out uh, in the month. There's not a lot of bigger albums coming out because most bands aren't stupid enough. Most bands don't release albums in December for uh, for whatever reason. But here are the bands that were stupid. The, the bands that decided to release albums in November. So, up first, we've got uh, Def Heaven releasing a live album, 10 Years Gone, on Sargent House. Uh, Thrasher's Gamma Bomb are releasing Sea Savage on Prosthetic Records. Majestica, A Christmas Carol, I know what you're thinking, but I've heard a bit of it, and it's actually very good, uh, is releasing on Nuclear Blast. Uh, Sculptor is releasing Untold Secrets on Frontiers. Soilwork is releasing A Wisp of the Atlantic EP on Nuclear Blast. December 11th, we have Boris with Merzbau releasing R20, what did C3PO R2D2 on Relapse Records. Uh, Chromags are releasing the 2020 EP on Mission 2. Uh, Heretical Sect is releasing Rapturous Flesh Consumed on Gilead Media uh, with one of my favorite covers of the month, actually. Sebastian Yako Tornado is releasing Integrity on Smile, Smile uh, Music. Um, and then uh, December 18th, we have uh, uh, either uh, Womb Bath or Wombath, depending on whether you like wombs or wombats more. Uh, on Tale of Madness uh, is releasing on Transcending Obscurity. I really butchered that whole list, but uh, the camera's all the way over there, so we're gonna keep on trucking. So up first, we have a truly fantastic record that tops the list because it's the thing I'm most excited about. Not just most excited about because there's not a lot of records coming out this month. It would be top of the list in any month, I think. Uh, it's some Denmarkian death metal. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Yes, I say Undergang, you say Undergang. They're releasing Aldridge, I Live It on Me, Sako Un Ojo Records, December 4th, 2020. Uh, so, like I said, this is some death metal out of Denmark, and it's truly just some mondo, cool, doomy, death, gross, dripping, old school death metal with just about everything on the record being different than anything else out there. These guys are truly a band of their own, despite being in the most, uh, everybody sounds the same genre possible. Starting with D Torture Dog, Dude, uh, vocals. I don't know. They're so low. They're renting out your basement apartment. I don't know how he gets them this low. Uh, but normally I hate, hate, hate low death metal vocals. But these aren't your run of the mill, cheap, average, all sound the same, brutal death metal pig squeals. These are just low. I don't really know what else to say besides the fact that they're 
very, very low. And that's just all that's really different. But it's something weird and uh, it's, uh, I don't know, you have to hear it to believe it. They really run the gamut on this record. They have quick one minute blast throughs and five minute uh, atmospheric building, doom tinged death. Uh, I don't know how they managed to put both those things in, have it all sound coherent and have it all done well, but pff, hey, uh, this makes me feel stupid for not listening to this band until now, despite constant recommendations by a, a, a friend who's uh, wombat, whose who's music uh, taste I trust uh, almost uh, to a fault. The reason I didn't listen to them is because their band name kind of reminds me of the game Undertale, which is a game I also didn't play because everybody was arguing over it, and it was sort of like when your mom and dad argue a lot when you're eating mac and cheese, and then mac and cheese just grosses you out. Basically what I'm saying is I need to just give things a chance and not let myself be colored from the outside. I finally gave uh, this band a chance and now I have the joy of going back through their discography. Uh, if you haven't listened to them yet, listen to this one and then do the jog back. And if you have listened to them, well, I got good news for you. Uh, I think this is the best thing they've ever done. So, wow. Moving on, uh, up next we have some Polish uh, Star Wars themed instrumental stoner sludge that can't be right. Polish Star Wars. Th what the? F That's what it says here. Uh, so the cover uh, is some truly great Star Wars themed art by Dragonaut. Very difficult to do. Very trod genre. Um, and all I can say is I would absolutely not be talking about this record if it didn't deliver the goods. I listened to the first track, uh, the preview track, the track you heard, and uh, all I can say is I was impressed with their uh, ability to handle the kind of stereotypical stoner sludge stuff, uh, albeit with a, a groove that gets you moving uh, and more proficient soloing than normally found in the genre. So I was like, all right, all right, you know what? It's doing a thing that I've heard that is good. I've heard it a lot, but they're doing it better. Uh, and then I reached out to them for the whole record. Uh, I got the whole record, I listened to it, and what I found was they did that uh, impeccably well throughout the record, which was enough to impress me, but then on top of that, they sometimes break out of the kind of genre mold as well on top of that, and really, with the combine all that, that really just put it over the top, and I was like, damn, nailed it. If you want a comparison uh, for what this is in the Star Wars universe, this is The Mandalorian. This ain't no gimmick band. They got the goods. Up next, we've got Braun, I hope, with Pred Devirima Naki, which I guarantee you is wrong, uh, on Nordvist production. Uh, it comes out December 11th. Uh, we can have a listen now, and uh, you know, while you're listening, uh, correct my everything said wrong in the comments below. This is some Serbian atmospheric black metal, and I uh, am stupid and forgot to ask who did the cover, but god damn, that gauzy fog over the trees, I could just stare at that for hours. Super impressive stuff, uh, person who did that. I apologize for your name not being here. Uh, I suck. Um, so, given that Nun's uh, album is one of my favorite uh, in, a, in a long while, uh, it shouldn't surprise you that I'm constantly on the lookout for any quality atmospheric black metal in a similar vein. And hey, I've found my next thing to be super stoked on. Um, what I think Braun does really well that uh, I'm going with Braun, a lot of other bands don't do, is uh, really nails the synth and the atmospheric, which 
the other bands do as well. This synths actually sound fairly different, uh, but regardless. But the thing that uh, uh, stands out is the black metal itself is much more uh, uh, aggressive uh, and would be in your face if it wasn't for that layer over top of it, uh, which the intensity of the black metal is frequently lacking on similar projects, uh, which are of course also all one man, it's a one man project, you knew that. And just the ability to balance those two is, uh, is just, I mean, rare and impressive, uh, you know? Just the, like the, like the tang and blade of a cold piece of steel, you know? If, if, if you find uh, your atmospheric black metal lacks a little tooth in the black metal, uh, it's here. And uh, if you're just a fan of the genre, then it never outweighs it. So win, win, and hey, maybe we can get some of those uh, aggro black metal dudes to calm down a bit with our side of the genre. Yeah. Thus, we come to our palate cleanse of the month. It's Satan's Fall, final day. It comes out on a high roller records December 11th, but you know what the drill is. We're gonna have a listen now. <laughs> So this is some Finnish heavy metal uh, with a real classic heavy metal album cover by Anu Bring. Uh, and let's get this out of the way. Yes, this plays into my love of ESL vocal uh, heavy metal. Uh, I don't know what it is about the sound of it. It just fits perfectly and just really gives me a great feeling in my chest. But you know what else gives me a great feeling on my chest? When these guys just go ham in the middle of the song. They'll just pop off whenever they gosh darn want. It is great. But the real standout achievement on this record is their ability to write a banging chorus whenever they want to, whenever they heck and feel. Uh, uh, a lot of records like this can get by on just having two great choruses and that kind of strings the whole record along. Not here. What just, 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 they crank them out. They just crank them out. They crank them out all the time. Uh, the whole thing is just wall to wall power jams until the last song when it's a slow jam. Intro, fake out like I just did with the eh, fake out there. Hey, nice. High five, boom. It's a sick record, wall to wall. Thumbs up. Yes, nailed it. Swish, done. But Blaine, that's only four records. Are we getting a double palette cleanse again this month? Well, you might have, but actually what's happening here will now be a maybe a regular yearly segment if uh, the world exists next December is the uh, Metal Monthly Metal Comedies Miss of the Year. And that's not a record that was bad, but that is a record that I could have put in Metal Monthly and thought, Ah, that's not good enough uh, and then have listened to it a whole hell of a lot since then and boy is there egg on my face and that is Butcher or Butcher uh, Six Six Goats Carry My Chariots Osmos Productions it came out in January 31st this year and it's still in my mind just a uh, hangnail since then of ah that was a whoopsie uh, have a listen and maybe you'll understand why yourself <laughs> So this is some Belgian speed metal of the blackened variety and hopefully they'll forgive my error as I forgive their error when in fact they are not six six goats pulling the chariot on the cover, there are only six. Um, uh, <laughs> it took a little re while for me to realize how much of a fan I was of this record, uh, 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 partly because I realized how amazing uh, R. Hellshrieker, I don't know if that's his real name, uh, I didn't realize how fantastic his vocals were uh, until uh, maybe it was a little jealousy out of how well he can roll his R's. 
I can't do it at all. But he, he disperses that throughout the record and it really brings a smile to my face. I really enjoy it. And uh, this is a record that goes ballistic a lot, uh, whether it's his rolling his R's, uh, guitars, drums, they just, uh, you know, go ham. They go wild, they, they're black and speed, they black and speed to the blackest, speediest they can. Uh, and that was always great. But what I thought wasn't great about the record turns out to be uh, one of its strengths, which is there's some occasional atmospheric chunks put throughout. There's a nine minute song on here. And at first I was like, eh, well, you know, I, if I'm going for a black and speed record, leave that to people better. Uh, and, uh, but on repeated listens, what I realized was those were kind of fun little nuggets put up through the record that helped kind of uh, slow the fast, uh, bright, but fast burn that a lot of records like this have. Uh, normally, you can listen to them like 40 times in a month, be so pumped, but you might not come back to them. But putting those in there really kind of adds another, you know, adds that third dimension to black and speed that a lot of bands can't nail. And uh, please accept my most humble apologies. And if you missed them earlier this year, because you're relying on me, uh, this is me telling you, go get it, it's great. Uh, and me telling you, hey, go get, you know, some uh, loving, you know, in whatever form is, is appropriate in your region of the world. Uh, Cause it's been a rough 2020, had some great records, but we haven't had a lot of great things other than that. Uh, so, you know, love, compassion, togetherness, even if it's just over Zoom, even if it's just over YouTube or Twitch, you know, just, just tell someone you love them. Goodbye from 2020. Hope to see you in 2021. Gah, get out of here. 45,